beautiful people, it's Courtney. Welcome back. Today I got a new video idea for you guys that I hope you're gonna be excited about. And if it goes over well, maybe this will be a new series. But I'm gonna be creating your guys' Instagram slime. So I went creeping on your guys' Instagram page, found some cool slimes, and I'm gonna be attempting to make them and try to get them as close as possible and see if I can recreate your slimes because some of you guys do some amazing slimes. And I hope you guys enjoy this video, so let's go ahead and get into it. Before we get started, I wanted to let you guys know I have a new slime YouTube channel called My Slime Shack. It has a ton of slime ASMR videos, so I will link it down below if you want to go check it out. And I'm also having a giveaway on my slime Instagram for some free slime, so I'll link my Instagram down below. Make sure to go check it out, and let's get started with this video. So for this first slime, we're making this hot pink clay slime. Now I realized the hardest part of this was trying to match your guys' colors. So I'm using a bright pink color and I actually added some red to it. I realized at the end that this was more of like she used more of a purpley hot pink um, but still I try to make this as bright and vibrant as possible and then I'm also going to activate it of course and to activate it for all of these slimes I'm using a half a teaspoon of borax and a cup of water. So this is a clay slime so I'm adding in just some white clay and I did make this slime darker knowing that the clay would lighten it a bit so keep that in mind as well. And this isn't a butter slime. She said this is just a clay slime. So I'm just adding in some clay and mixing it all together. And then I can't forget the sprinkles on top. So here is my final recreation next to hers. I think hers definitely is a lot more like purpley and pretty, but let me know how you guys think I did. I'm obsessed with the texture on this next slime. I saw it and I was like, oh, that's so pretty. I have to make it. So in the caption, it said it had a thick base. So I'm adding some glue, shaving foam, lotion, and foaming hand soap. And I'm mixing that all together. And then I'm going to add in like some orange tones and a little bit of green, a little bit of pink. I was trying to get like that perfect pinky peach color. Uh, this was like definitely, I was definitely off at the end of this. It wasn't the same. I loved the color they used. Um, so I was trying my best, but it just wasn't happening. So then I added in some foam beads and some shredded foam, and both of these were white. And then I'm just mixing it all into the slime, and then I'm going to activate it. So I'm just activating it again, and I wasn't completely satisfied at that point with the color, so then I went in and then it looked like this. Um, I thought it had a little more dark undertones, but it was a little more pink than this was. So it was kind of there. I think the texture I did was quite on point. I loved the texture of this. It was really unique. But as you could see, once we get in here, that my color was not quite exactly the same. But I think the texture was pretty close. So the color I failed on. Here's the next slime we're going for, and this is a cereal milk slime with some black foam beads. So to get a cereal milk slime, my recipe that I like to use is adding a little bit of baby oil, a little bit of water, and mixing it into white glue. And then you could go ahead and activate it, and that's gonna make it really shiny and really glossy. So that's what I'm doing to this slime, and then I'm just kneading it and activating it. And then on top, all I did was finish it off with some black foam beads. I think this was almost identical I'm obsessed with this slime. It was so pokey and so much fun to play with. I loved this one. It was like perfect, like the perfect texture for playing with. I 
I thought this next slime was so beautiful so I had to recreate it and it is a clear glue based slime and then I was just mixing colors together to try to get that beautiful like purple burgundy color. I think the colors are pretty close. Now I thought the texture of this was actually like an instant snow cloud cream jelly type of slime but it was actually crushed up jelly cubes so I had never done that before and I was going to attempt it so I mixed in some jelly cubes and then I started to like try to crush them and this just did not turn out the right texture whatsoever. I think the color was pretty close but the texture was way off. Hers looked very very smooth. Mine just was not very smooth whatsoever. This last slime was called Kiwi Kiwi and it was a really pretty like light green with some black seeds and a slushy bead slime. So I'm taking some clear slime I already had made up. I are, I'm using the clear slime that I already had just so it wouldn't be quite as cloudy. It still wasn't completely settled. So I just used some clear slime I already had. But then I'm just adding in some black glitter for the little kiwi seeds. And then I'm also going to go in with some slushy beads and I'm adding in a bunch of those as well. So my green Green turned out a little too green for this. The colors, I swear, were the trickiest thing ever. Hers was a little bit more blue, and this could also do with like different screens and the colors on different screens, but here is the final slime, and I really enjoyed this one as well. end thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this video let me know what you thought about this idea in the comments down below and if you have any other ideas of future videos you'd like to see please also let me know and I will talk to you guys very soon bye